You're listening to Rebel Spirituality with me, Sam Goldfinch. Here's the truth. Wisdom doesn't follow rules. So each week we're going to explore what it means to wake up your way so you can live a more peaceful, creative and inspired life no matter your circumstances. It's time to blaze your unique path to truth. Hey team. Right, I wanted to talk about connection today, the power of connection. And of the thousands of people I've coached across many different groups, be them groups that are kind of looking towards healing from addiction or more spiritual in air quote quote groups, uh, looking into the inside out understanding of life across the board. Many, many people say to me, Sam, I, I want to feel more connection. I'd love to feel more connected to life and to myself and to the other people in my life. And I just wanted to hang out and explore this today for a little while because it's a really curious thing to explore because we've all had that experience where we've been surrounded by hundreds, if not thousands of people, and we felt completely disconnected, right? So maybe we've been in a bar and, you know, we just we just feel lonely or disconnected and we we just we just feel like there's this stark wall between us and the world, right? And, and at the moment, many, many people are, as people move to the city um, and as the ability for us to have physical connections with people in the sense of being able to meet people and know people, that's growing and growing. More and more people are coming into these into these areas, right? But many people are saying that they're feeling more and more disconnected. Social media, more and more people are coming into our network. You know, some people, hundreds and hundreds of friends, right? But actually people are saying that I'm feeling less and less connected, and we've had that experience, I'm sure we've all had that experience of walking in the woods or watching a sunset or being completely alone, being with ourselves, but feeling deeply connected to life, feeling at one with everything, feeling home to ourself. And so how can that be? How can it be that we can be completely alone and feel completely connected, right? Alone as, a, as an objective fact in the sense that there's nobody else there in that moment. And how is it that we can be surrounded by hundreds or thousands of people and feel really disconnected? Like what, what on earth is going on? And there's, there's, that's worth sitting with to see what you see because it can be very insightful to just kind of reflect on that. Now, as it looks to me, it seems like there's something much more deep going on than just the idea that connection is, is about the amount of people that you know. And yes, we're all humans and we've evolved in a tribal way to be surrounded by people and we're social animals and everybody benefits from those. They've done a number of scientific uh, studies to show that even people who would self-identify as an uh, an introvert, they actually benefit from from, uh, social interactions, right? So from micro social interactions, just saying hey at the shops and just saying hey at the the gas station or the petrol station or whatever, those those things are beneficial for everybody. Whether we feel like our preference is to be with smaller groups of people and have less friends or our preference is to know more people. Um, And, you know, I think it's, it's an interesting one because Sure, that looks very powerful to me. And yet it's not enough to just add people into our social network thinking that that is what's going to allow us to feel connected to life, right? It looks like there's a there's a deeper thing going on and it's falling out of the illusion of separation with life. It's seeing through the false belief that we are separate, that there is a distinction between me and the world. And like when we're born into this world, when we're babies, we don't have that distinction. There's just aware. There's no here I am, there the world is. There's just aware. There's no distinctions. And then the distinctions start coming in, right? So we start to think this is me. And then at 18 months, we recognize or so we recognize ourselves in the mirror. And then we start developing ideas about ourselves. Like I am this, I am that. And the the separate self starts to appear and then we believe in that separate self as the totality of us and then we feel separate from everything that's out there. But we're not separate from everything that's out there. It's just a belief in our thinking. It's a belief in a self that wasn't there at the beginning and is really just an amalgamation, a collection of ideas. It's not solid in the way that we think it is. And so to see through that and to realize the connection that we have to life is profound. It's incredible. And it deepens our ability to be able to connect with others. 
we are able to drop walls that we've innocently had up because we think, oh golly, if I were to connect, then I could get hurt or get harmed because we realize at the level of our true self, that's just not possible. And sure, we can have boundaries. Like if someone wanted to continually poke me in the arm with a pen, of course, I'm going to say that's not okay. And I'm, I'm going to stand there and be a doormat, right? In that sense, of course. But I know the things that aren't at stake. I know that the peace and the clarity that reside at the heart of my being, I know that no one can take those away from me and I know that they don't need protecting. And I know that none, nothing is, that, that I know that I'm not separate from life. And that allows me to have the amount, amount of people that are in my life and enjoy their company and to enjoy my company and to enjoy just the world. And if I would like to add more friends or have more experiences, I can do so knowing that I'm okay now. I can do so knowing that it's not that I need to go to an art class or that I need to start a sport or I need to do this so that I can feel happy and content because it's possible to feel that. Like we said, we've all had those experiences of being alone in nature and there it is. For many people, that's actually the access point. It feels like that's the access point and being around a lot of people feels like the disconnecting element, right? But it, it's the same thing. It's wherever we go, we're not separate from life. We're always connected. And yeah, that's, it's just so worth knowing. You know, Sadhguru, he talks about dying in installments. He says, every time that you make a conclusion about the world, you close a door and it's like you separate yourself off one more time, right? I can't do that. Boys don't do that. Women don't do that. Girls don't do that. Whatever it happens to be. So knowing who you are beyond your body, beyond your physical connections with people in the world, beyond your job, beyond all of that, knowing the truth of you and experiencing that is primary. And from that space, all of your connections will deepen because really there's only one connection. Really, there isn't any connection. And <laughs> the idea of connection is that something is attached to something else. Well, even that's an illusion. Everything is the, is the one thing. We're discovering this in all the different science realms right now. We're, we're uncovering the truth of that. We go start looking for separate objects and they, they don't exist in the way that we think they do. And that's true for life too. It's true for life too. There may be a part of you, your intellect's going, what's he on about? What's he on about? But there's a part of you that can hear a truth in this. So this week, go and, go and reflect on that. Reflect on, yeah, how is it? How is it possible that there are people who are sitting in caves right now feeling deeply connected to life and there are people who are surrounded by thousands of people and they feel disconnected? What's going on? What's, the, what, what's uh <laughs> what's really going on there and just see what you see and uh, if you see something that feels insightful and you know it's helpful for you then be sure to reach out and let me know or or tell me about it or send me an email or whatever all right team huge love to you i hope you have a great week <laughs>